Today is a really special day. Squeaks and I just looked at our calendar and we saw that he has a visit to his doctor coming up and Squeaks is a little nervous. So I asked my friend Dr. Aaron Carroll to come and talk to us about what to expect when we go to the doctor. Hi Dr. Carroll. Hi. Well I guess you've heard that Squeaks is a little bit nervous and when I get nervous it usually helps to ask questions. So I was wondering if you might be able to answer some questions we have about going to the doctor. Of course. So what's the first thing that happens when we go to the doctor? Well, most often you're gonna have to wait in the waiting room because sure. it's really unlikely the doctor's gonna be ready to see you immediately. So there's gonna be a lot of kids there. Some of them are gonna be sick because they're waiting to see the doctor when they're sick. There'll be a lot of other parents there and you know, it can be a little bit of a scary place. So you're not stuck in the waiting room forever. What, no. what happens then? No, eventually, and sometimes there's games and stuff to play, so oh, it can be fun. Those are always really fun. Eventually a nurse or a medical assistant is gonna come and take you back and they're gonna get what we call vital signs. They're gonna to wanna to check how fast your heart is beating. They're gonna to wanna to check how quickly you're breathing. They're gonna to wanna to check your blood pressure, maybe to see if you have a fever, just to see in general how you're doing. So when we see the medical assistant or nurse, they will have a lot of equipment, yeah. right? And there's a lot of stuff going on. So you brought some examples. What do we have here? So this is something you use to actually check your blood pressure. It's called a sphygma manometer, but nobody Ooh. needs to say that. So <laughs> it's it's almost like a cuff. What they do is they put it on your arm and then they pump it up and it basically gives your arm a squeeze. It's like giving your arm a big hug. It can feel a little tight, but it doesn't. it isn't gonna hurt. Then they're gonna put on a stethoscope and they're gonna listen to your blood flow through your arm while they pump it up. Wow. And using that and looking at this dial, they can figure out what your blood pressure is. Wow, and so why is it important to know what your blood pressure is? So your blood pressure tells how tight your blood is in the tubes inside your body as it's flowing around. And you want it to be tight, but not too tight. Okay. And almost everyone is gonna be fine, but it just allows them to see how much pressure the blood is, is using as it flows through your veins and oh, arteries. Okay, I've definitely seen this before. Now, are we allowed to like, can I, can sure. I pump on that? As you pump it, this is gonna get tighter and tighter on Squeak's arms, and eventually okay. it might get a little tight, but it won't hurt. Uh, and then you can look at it and see that it's getting tight. And then what they will do again is they will listen like this as yeah. they turn this dial and let a lot of the pressure out and you hear the air go out. Oh, see that squeaks? Yeah. So besides the blood pressure, what else is going to happen? So they'll also put you on a scale and weigh you, mm -hmm. see how much you weigh. They'll probably put you up against a wall and measure you, see how mm -hmm. tall you are. Uh, and then they will also check your temperature. And these days, most often they wind up checking your temperature by putting just a little tube in your ear. And mm -hmm. it doesn't really go in far at all, but by, by actually just looking at the temperature in your ear, they can get a sense of how it is. And that way you don't have to put anything in your mouth or nice. anything anywhere else. As I said before, they'll also check and listen, usually with the stethoscope, to see how quickly you're breathing, to see how fast your heart is going. And that's most it before you go in the doctor's office. Nice. Sometimes you get a little thing on your finger. What's that? So that is they're actually shooting a, a laser or a light into your finger to see how much oxygen is in your blood. Does it hurt? Not at all. You can't even feel it. In fact, all it does is sort of light up your finger and make it red, which is sort cool. of cool. But it absolutely doesn't hurt. It just takes a few seconds. It just helps them see, you know, how well you're getting oxygenated. We like lasers, don't we? No, yeah. then you'll love this. <laughs> So after we've checked all of those measurements, we're gonna head to the office. Yep. And what happens in there? So mo more often than not, they're gonna ask you to get undressed and put on a gown. That's okay. just so the doctor can examine you a little more easily. And they'll probably have you sit on a big table that has a long piece of paper on it. Okay, what's the paper for? The paper is so, because you don't you don't know who if the last person in the office was dirty or clean, or you know maybe somebody is sick and you don't want their germs all mm -hmm. over the place. So you lay on the paper, and then when you leave the office, we take the paper down, we rip it, and the next person gets a totally clean. I always like sitting on the paper because it gets all crinkly and you can yes. make some fun noises. <laughs> and you can draw on it. it. I don't think anybody would ever get upset if you did that, so it's great. So do you have? Do you sit there? Do you stand? What? what Usually what you, you sit. And so okay. the doctor's gonna talk to your parents, the doctor's gonna talk to you, ask you a lot of questions about how things are going, how you're eating, how you're sleeping, how school is going. Um, do you get along with your brothers and sisters if you have them? Do you get along with pets if you have them? You know, are you being good? Are you not listening so well at home? You know, and sort of get a sense of just how your general health is. Next, they're gonna wanna do what we call the physical exam, which okay. is when they actually take a look at you and examine you to make sure that everything is working right. So okay. more often than not, you just sort of start top down. First, they're gonna look at your eyes or your ears. So there's a fancy flashlight that they use to look in your eyes to watch the black part of your eye to make sure it gets bigger and smaller correctly, to make sure your eyes go all, you know, all over the place correctly. They can use it to look right in the back of your eye and see how the vessels and or the blood vessels and your retina is doing. Then they will put 
uh, a tube in your ear just to look at your eardrum okay. to make sure that it looks clear, to make sure that it's not infected, to make sure that everything's fine. Does that hurt something going in your ear? It doesn't. Kids get a little bit scared of it sometimes, but it really doesn't hurt and they don't mm -hmm. go in that far. Now, okay. it might feel a little odd sometimes because you know <laughs> stuff's not supposed to go in your ears, but it does not hurt. Neither the checking the eyes okay. or the ears hurts really at all. Then they're going to want to look in your nose. They're going to want to look in your throat. They'll probably get you to stick out your tongue and say, ah. Um, again, <laughs> nothing is going to hurt there. It can be a little frightening and sometimes kids you know, get a little nervous about it, but nothing bad. Then they're going to want to feel usually your neck just to make sure that everything feels fine. That's likely with your hands. And then they move into the listening to your heart and lungs. And again, that's when they're going to use the stethoscope. So they'll put it in their ears and they will probably, you know, ask you to take some deep breaths as they listen to your back. That's just mostly to hear air going in and out of your lungs to make sure that everything sounds clear, to make sure everything sounds good, that it's all going fine. And if that's good, then they're going to listen to your heart, which is not not on your back really, but more on your front. So they'll probably put the stethoscope in a few different places around where your heart is, which is right, right in the middle of your chest. Again, none of this hurts. This is just so that they can hear your heart beating to make sure it's not making any funny noises, to make sure that everything sounds good as it's going, and it's over just a couple minutes. The next thing they're gonna have you do is probably lay down. And okay. that's really because they wanna check out your belly. And it's very hard to check out your belly when you're sitting because it's all tense. Um, and they want you to be nice and relaxed. So they'll lay down, they will likely push on this side to feel your liver, maybe on this side sometimes to try to feel your spleen, mostly to get a sense that everything feels soft and that nothing hurts and that you're totally fine. And they'll probably even put the stethoscope back on and listen to your belly because we can hear sort of the food going through there just to make sure it's making the right noises and that everything is moving fine. So in general, after that, they're gonna do a, you know, they might do things just to check sure that your pulses are okay and other areas of your body. They might just check to make sure that everything's working okay and all the different parts of your body. They might have you stand up and bend over so they can take a look at your spine, yeah. make sure it looks nice and straight and they're going to check out the things that, you know, doctors do, which are sometimes private, but they have to do it and always with your parents there. None of that sounds scary at no. all, but there is one part to doctors' appointments that do make me a little nervous, and I think Squeaks is nervous about that part too, and it's shots. Yeah, I mean... Uh, it's hard. You don't want to lie. Shots can hurt a little mm -hmm. bit. They sting. I don't like getting shots. Mm -hmm. I have to get shots every year. I have to get my flu shot every year and sometimes other shots for boosters because I'm, you know, I work in a hospital with other patients. So, and everybody really gets a flu shot now these days. So mm -hmm. it's something that everybody has to do. It's so important though, because it keeps you safe. It keeps you from getting sick and it might hurt for just a few minutes, but it goes away really quickly and you, you forget about it pretty quickly. So getting shots is, I know it's really important and it, and it does hurt, but it goes away quickly. Quickly, but why does it have to go into me? Like, why can't I just take a pill? The reason is because our bodies are incredibly good at sort of fighting off infection. Mm -hmm. um, and if we just sort of put the stuff on you, your body won't see it. Your skin's really good at keeping the bad stuff out. In order to make your body react to what we're trying to give you in the vaccine. We have to get it inside you. And the only way to do that is to sort of pierce the skin and get all the way below it. That is a lot of stuff that happens, but None of it seems really scary. It all seems really important. It shouldn't be scary. I mean, it's important to remember that doctors are people too. I'm a doctor. I have kids. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm a fun guy. I'm not scary. <laughs> I don't think my children are afraid of me. And what we're trying to do is just trying to help you be healthy and to, you know, get along with your family and for everything to be great. And there's nothing that we're going to do that should make you scared at all. Well, thank you so much for walking us through all of that. Sounds like there's so many wonderful things that a doctor can learn about your body with all these measurements. Doctors are pretty amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, Tell us more about how you can become a doctor. Anyone can become a doctor, but I will say it takes a lot of school. I used to joke with my kids all the time that by the time I was done, I think I'd finished the 25th grade. It takes going to, to school and going to middle school, going to high school, college, four years of medical school, a couple years of residency, maybe even a little bit of fellowship but it's totally worth it. I absolutely love what I do. I get to help people. I especially get to work with kids and it's an amazing job. That was a lot of great information. So Squeaks, are you feeling a little bit better about our upcoming doctor appointment? Oh good. Well, thank you so much for coming on and visiting us here at the fort. Oh, thank you. Do you have any questions about your body, doctors, or anything at all? Go ahead and leave them in the comments section below or send us an email to kids at scishow.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time here at the fort.